So the Christmas event part two is here in Creatures of Scenaria, and in this update, they have added in a new mini game, two new creatures, and a Christmas boss. So yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. All right, guys, so I've spawned into the game, and if we go right here and go to missions, as you can see, there's a new mission right here called Bakery Bonanza. And this is, you gotta go to the event missions. So if you click on this, right, you can unlock this new creature right here, the Mobuishi. And what you gotta do is bake 25 sugar cookies and grow a medium sized creature or higher three times for each 100. And the hardest part is probably the baking cookies. So to bake cookies, you gotta come over here to the flower cove and you will find yourself Milo. And you gotta give five uh, cookies or cookie doughs to Milo so Milo can cook you up a cookie right so you got to do that 25 times and let me show you guys how to actually get cookie dough first way to get cookie dough is by doing the gifting presents quest right so basically you want to go around these christmas trees all around the map and go collect the presents and then deliver the presents to the three areas so each present has a different area and um, yeah so if you get a red present you got to go to the red slate and if you got a green one you got to go to the green slate and deliver that and yeah basically you just got to keep on doing that and then you will have a chance to actually get cookie dough so the other way to actually get cookie dough is by doing this mini game right here find these snowmans click on e and make sure you just land it inside of the red or the white and look at that we just got one cookie dough and you will not get it every single time it's just a chance so yeah let's, let's do this very quickly hopefully we get it again it's just a chance that you will get the cookie dough and you might even get the scurvy from doing this since there is a chance for getting the scurvy so yeah let's go ahead and keep on doing this and oh i'm eating i don't want to eat all right let me, let me do the mini game i don't want to eat okay there we go all right there we go let's go ahead do it one more time and no cookie dough so let's go ahead our, and uh, check out our inventory right inventory and as you can see we got three right now we need five of them okay so i'm just gonna keep on flying around and finding the snowmans and get five cookies and then i'll show you guys once i deliver them all right guys so we got ourselves five cookie doughs and uh you know the best way is definitely to do these snowmans the snowmans are definitely the way to go all right so i believe if we go to the flower cove yep that icon right there and let's go ahead and deliver these five cookies and yeah honestly like i said the best way is the snowmans because the present gifting takes forever and the cooldown it takes uh it, it takes pretty long so it's better to go around and just do the snowmans for the cookie dough and here we are and let's go ahead and deliver these cookies or these uh the, the cookie dough yeah cookie dough all right, well, there we go uh bake cookies oh there's a wait there's a 15 minute cooldown what did we get wait we've got an inventory what is what what wait what was that guys i'm kind of confused what did i get um um green gift nope it's not that oh i got this wait what is this minty wiggler gives the creature the passive ability frost which buffs during famine in winter i got two of them oh okay that is pretty cool okay so we got a plushie i guess yeah we got a plushie and the rewards probably vary and you probably could also get the uh the cookie creature which is uh this creature the bakery bonanza creature you could probably get this creature from doing this so i mean you know wait okay yeah so we gotta do that 25 more times and there's a 15 minute cooldown so yeah it's gonna take a while so i guess if you guys are really trying to grind this or really just you know trying to complete the mission and get the creature uh right now just go ahead and collect five and then wait for the 15 minute cooldown come back and do it and um yeah um that's pretty cool all right, guys, we are now inside a public server because, uh, you know, uh, we got to go defeat this boss. And there's a new Christmas boss that we're going to be checking out. And if we, I'm pretty sure it's at that red icon. That's literally where everybody is right now. But let me go ahead and get myself some food and water really quickly. And then we'll head over there. All right, it is time to head over all the way to the uh, boss. So we're going the wrong way. All right, let's go ahead and go this way. Wait, I believe we could actually deliver some presents. There we go. All right, we just, uh, we got 12 candy cane from that. All right, the mini games have such a long cooldown. I, I swear it was shorter before. It was only like five minutes. Now it's like 10 in like 15 minutes. All right, let's go over here. And the portal is right here. Um, where, wait, what? Where? Where's the portal? There it is. Okay, so there's the portal. This probably does have a cooldown too. Wait, there's a boss fight in progress. Can we go in? Can I teleport? Oh no, we can't teleport because they, they, there's people fighting in there already. All right, so we gotta wait eight minutes, I guess. So uh, yeah, I, I guess we're gonna be waiting eight minutes. Oh, wait, we can eat candy canes? 
Oh, yum, yum. All right, finally. Okay, the battle starts in one minute and 40 seconds. So let's go ahead and nope, nope, into the portal. Hey, hey, let me, the portal. All right, there we go. All right, we're going to the portal. And whoa, where are we being sent? We just got like, oh, there we go. Okay. Holy cow. There's a lot of people here. Okay, I'm not sure if this creature is the way to go. Um, because, uh, you know, like, like uh, this creature does like no damage, as you can see, it only, um, it only does uh, 160 damage. Oh wait, actually that, that, that's not bad. That's actually not bad. All right. So we got to wait a minute and then we're going to fight the boss. And from the looks of it, there is a lot of dead bodies here. Holy cow. Were these from like the previous battles? There's a lot of dead bodies. here. I, I wish I was a, a carnivore so I could actually eat this. But um, yeah, all right, let's see if we could beat the boss. So here we go. There's five seconds. Five. Here, it's about to spawn. Four, three, two, one. And why is there a baby? Oh, okay. Where's the boss? Where's the boss? Oh, holy cow. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Okay. I don't know where the boss is. Oh, wait. It's that thing. Oh, it's the Yeti. Oh, my God. I do a, I do a thousand damage to it. Wait a minute. All right, guys, I do a thousand damage to it with my breath. With my breath, of course. Okay, bite it, bite it, 100, 160, 160 damage. Holy cow, it does a lot of damage. Okay, guys, I, I think you guys should definitely be a creature that has a breath because I do a, a 1,700. Okay, um, I, I, I think, I think, oh, oh no. Oh, shoot, it hit me midair. It hit me midair. Oh gosh, that is scary. All right, guys, oh, what is that? Okay, wait, what? What? Wait, flame wyvern, frost wyvern. Wait, do we have to kill them? Oh, I think we do have to kill them. Oh, I only do 300 damage to them. Oh, no, guys. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat this. Okay. I'm just going to... I'm just going to keep my distance. I'm just going to keep my distance and use my breath. Do we have a healer? Oh, wait. We do have a healer. It's right there. It's right there. I need heals. All right. I'm going to go for heals real quickly. Heal me, please. Please. All right. Here we go. I'm getting healed. Oh, they're flying now. Oh, they are flying now. Oh, gosh. Oh, they're... They're flying. All right. Let's get them. All right. Oh, they're shooting beams. Oh, shoot. Holy cow. Okay, okay. We got this. We got this. Air, air, air PV PVP is my specialty, as you can see. Uh, no, guys, I'm joking. I suck at PVP. Okay, I'm about to die. I'm at half HP. This is uh, this is not good. Where's where, where's the Valkyrie? Dude, wait, guys. I think the Krathos died. The Krathos is gone. It died. Oh, no. Please. Valkyrie, where, where, where's the Valk? We need the Valk. So low. This guy's so low. This guy's so low. So low. Oh, gosh. All right. One dragon down. One dragon down. We got one dragon. It died. All right. It's gone. All right. We got one more. Let's do this, guys. How many people are left? There, there is not a lot of people left, guys. All right, guys. There we go. We defeated it. Oh gosh, we gotta kill the Yeti now. And it looks like there, there's gonna be like another stage once we get it to uh, once we get it to one third of its HP. So I mean, we're doing a lot of damage though with our breath. Look at this, guys. All right, do not get hit by the Yeti. The Yeti does a lot of damage. Do not get hit. The Krathos, I don't know what happened to the Krathos, but it's gone. All right, there we go. Is it gonna shield up again? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, what's going on? What's going on? It's doing something. Okay, never mind. I lied. Come on, guys. We could do this. Oh, there's icicles. There oh, gosh. That's what happens. Oh, shoot. How did that... How did I not get hit by the icicle? Oh, gosh. It just did a... It just did a slamming attack. Holy cow. Okay. Let's, let's get it. Let's get it. It's almost dead. It's almost dead. Oh, here, come, here comes the icicles. Better dodge these. Oh. Oh, gosh. Dodge. Uh, our, yeah, guys. We got this. We got this got this we will win this guys i'm telling you little creatures if, if you're a little creature that can fly like like oh there we go we just beat it mini wiggler we just got some candy cane and some christmas presents and the boss will spawn in two minutes okay so we just defeated the boss and if we go check out the items that we got so we got this uh this christmas present thing and we got three of them so let's see what we got we got 20 candy 20 candy and 20 candy canes all right, uh, that, that's pretty good, I guess. And let's go ahead and go to plushies. And we got another minty wiggler. So, yeah. Um, is, is, is there, like, another plushie we can get? Or is it just that one? It actually might just be that one. 
but yeah the boss will be starting again in uh you know 50 seconds but um yeah that is the boss fight that is pretty insane guys the boss fight definitely be little creatures that have breaths and just like make sure you can fly so you don't get hit but um yeah just keep your distance and spam your breath that's how you win you just gotta breath spam here we go i am jeff and jeff is gonna be taking on the yeti boss i don't know if we'll be able to defeat it i am in my private server but we are gonna try our best because jeff is the strongest creature creatures of scenario and we're about to show you guys why he's the strongest all right let's do this all right guys here we go jeff versus the yeti holy cow it's coming at me all right let's do this i'm not even fully grown i just realized that we're only child but here we go let's go let's punch him let's punch him jeff is the strongest we are technically one punch man all right we just gotta, we just gotta, we, we just gotta get behind him and punch him in the legs that's what we gotta do that's what we gotta do 15 damage we got this it's possible holy cow he does a lot of damage all right come here we gotta punch him in the legs punch him in the legs this is this is definitely possible this is definitely possible oh gosh he does a lot of damage i might have to run i might have to run oh gosh here we go come on just spam click all right now we run now we run and of course he hits us still even though we're out of the range all right this is perfect all right jeff is about to show his true powers right here oh, oh i miss oh gosh oh gosh guys this is not going as planned it's not going as planned see this is why jeff is strong because he's fast see this how, how how can the boss ever catch up to us see this all right guys okay never mind we actually have to kill him let's do this let's go punch it's all it's all about hit and run hit and run hit and run hit and run here we go what the guys i died wait guys i i, I defeated him he died did you guys not see that guys he literally died <laughs> guys i'm telling you guys see this is why jeff is the strongest did, did, did you guys see that okay so if we go to missions as you can see this is one of the new creatures the mobu is she right guys and to get it i told you guys how to get it already but besides that there is one more new creature and if we go to shop and go all the way to this celestial gotcha here it is the voltexius and this gotcha costs 20 tickets to actually open and uh, that is pretty dang expensive uh you know i have zero tickets right now but yeah this is the voltexius and i'll definitely be showcasing it so um yeah that is how you get the voltexius okay also if you go to the event shop as you can see they added in the yoln hell varskela and the tundric into the event shop for this week and next week i believe will, will be the final week and that's when they'll be adding the boreal warden and possibly a few other new creatures and also there are some plushies that just got added into such as the frost dragon and this one right here the tannin bomb and the partridge and also there's a new palette if you guys love to color your creatures there's the holy color palette and um yeah that is pretty much it what they have added into the event shop okay so here is the voltexius and look at this thing I, I thought it was gonna be like a flying creature well i think it's a flying creature but look at this thing i don't even know how to explain it it has like it has like metagross's arm from pokemon but um okay so let's go ahead and check out these stats so it is a flyer omnivore and it is large and its health 3350 130 damage 42 minutes to grow and it has a bunch of passive effects like look at this block poison block frostbite block bleed block burn defensive burn also and then it has harden as an ability okay that is that, that is honestly not bad at all okay so now here is the mobu ishi and it is a omnivore and it is small and it is a land creature so this creature is not that strong but let's go ahead and check out the health so it has 1450 hp uh, 110 damage 17 minutes to grow and passive effects it has frosty and block bleed and then the active abilities it has a healing hunter area food restore and sticky trap that is actually a sticky trap. Is that new? I don't think it's new, but place a trap that causes ensnared to move slower. Oh, okay. That is really good for like escaping. Or honestly, that's just really annoying if you walk into that. And healing hunter, a targetable ability which allows you to swap from damage to healing mode. Wait, this thing could heal? What? Okay, so yeah, this is a this is a healing creature too. But we have spawned in as the Voltexius, and look at this thing, guys. It is looking very, very nice. And again, the arms just remind me of like a, I don't know, it kind of looks like a Metagross's arm. If you guys don't know what Metagross is, I'll put an image of it on the screen right now. But yeah, it's from Pokemon. 
and this is the z animation right here look at this thing wait did it just open up its mask it has like a has like a visor on or something oh there look at that that is sick okay that is nice okay let's do the x animation i think this creature is more of like a defensive creature because it has a bunch of like like block abilities or passive abilities and uh, yeah so this thing is really tanky or it's pretty tanky for its uh its size and what is this aggressive oh aggressive wait what i did not know if you hold onto your z animation you actually get aggressive and what does that do plus 25 percent more damage but minus 50 stamina okay and let's do the r animation or the sitting animation now look at that now you guys can take a good look at what its face looks like it looks pretty cool and let's do the uh, sleeping animation and this is what it looks like when it sleeps um i mean just look at the particles coming off of it though just look at that that looks sick but um yeah guys let's go ahead and check out the fly animation now so if we click on space there we go this thing is like uh i don't even know it's like a wait look at this look at the flying animation it's like a it's like a rocket ship it actually looks like a rocket ship and look look at the particles it leaves behind that is really sick i like how it folds up it's like uh it, it's arms together to look like a rocket yo this is actually sick oh my gosh okay this is actually crazy there we go and now let's do the gliding animation look at that it's like doing a little dance when it glides look at this guys it's actually like wiggling look at that that is sick it looks so happy look at that it's opening its mouth it's just vibing right now but um yeah guys that is pretty much it for this creature but this is so cool this is like a very unique creature because i have not seen any creature that flies like that like 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 look at this look at this it changes form mid-air that is pretty cool all right guys so here is the mobushi and it is like a it's a small rodent creature i guess you can say and as you can see it is very christmas themed look at all the colors and uh it has a it has a bit of frosting on top of its forehead which is really nice so here's the walking animation and then the running animation and of course being a small creature it's going to be very fast and one thing to this creature that they probably could add is the ability to jump because this thing should definitely be able to jump but um yeah let's go ahead and check out the z animation here we go check that out look at that really nice animations and then let's do the x animation right here and then the n animation There we go and then the sitting animation and then the sleeping animation there we go those are all the animations for this creature and again this creature is not too strong um i highly don't recommend using it for pvp but this creature you know it's a really cool creature to have in your collection and again this thing should definitely get the ability to jump because i'm kind of surprised that it, it can't jump that will pretty much be it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy and yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.